Okay. No. Um, I'm gonna lay it out for you as to what really happened with 9-11 um, and after 9-11. The real reason I'm being targeted is because of 9-11. It is not because I figured out virus. As the whole government would say, never let an opportunity go to waste. That's what the virus thing was. The real reason was actually 9-11. And it's actually the same reason that I'll be defecting out of this country, and it's based on law. You cannot, okay, this is the first point, you cannot go to law, go to war with a group of people or a person internationally. You can only go to war with a country. Now, second point, they use their, um, uh, and this is the thing they really didn't want to get out. They went to war with the wrong group of people, even. These people that did this were idiots. This is why President Bush shut down the wars. And what did Obama do? He went and reopened them all up again. Gotta make my money. Gotta get mine. This is the whole attitude of this country, from poor all the way up to wealthy. All in the same boat. Every single one of them. So, that's the first point. You can't go to war with a group of people or a person. Now, Obama went and put, um, he did a presidential uh, directive. Didn't even go through Congress because it's as illegal as you can get. That you can attack people and kill people even Americans. That's called genocide. So, if you don't get where this whole point's going, I don't know what to tell you. That V2K was, um, actually, I think it was called the Word of God. They used it in the war over there, their so-called war, which isn't really a war. And I better go look up the meaning of terrorism. And terrorism, when you look up the meaning of that word, is war. So, you know, they don't expect people to be cracking books open. That's what the problem is, and they don't do it in this country. They're spoon-fed. So, they violated international law all over the place. They've um, destroyed countries, killed leaders, and um, committed genocide. Now, that's in violation, and they tortured people. And this is the group of the TIs in this country. TIs in other countries and TIs in this country are completely different groups of people. And if you don't believe me, start talking to those people in other countries. It's not the same. Those people over there, they're being monitored because they cannot be reprogrammed. Over here, it's a whole different scenario. They're not being tortured in other countries. That's not what's happening though. They're being monitored by the government. And they don't have these um, crazy ass people. Now, if they do have them, that's illegal and it's not through their government. No, I got proof that these people are paid for by the government. My people, they're paid for by the government. So, TIs in this country, you definitely have a lawsuit. And like I said, you're not rebuilding shit here. You're really not. You're not going to be able to. Go, you're gonna have, if you're gonna leave the country anyway, you're gonna be monitored for the rest of your life anyway. 
doesn't matter if it's irrelevant. But this is a whole different scenario here. So, that's the truth about 9-11. And like I said, the virus thing, that was just, don't let a good opportunity go to waste. That's their slogan. The U.S. government slogan, don't let a good opportunity go to waste. You're absolutely correct And how well I learned. So, you know, um, as far as TIs go, you have a big decision that I have to make. There's quite a few of them coming up. Like I said, there's a major lawsuit going on in this country. Um, see, they use people here for illegal uh, experimentation. This is this whole torture program. This... They tried to implement the law internationally um, with um, Abu Ghraib, Ghraib, however, whatever it's pronounced. But anyway, they tried to implement it. It didn't work. It didn't fly. So they went and they implemented it here. So, do your homework. They're in violation of the Hague Convention. All the conventions are really in. North American Torture Agreement, they created and passed and put with the UN. They're in complete violation of that. You got Nuremberg Code, complete violation, go down it. I suggest you look at your human rights, your human rights, and um, I think, believe there's like 30 or 30 plus. You're going to have to go through those, start marking them off, and start pulling out the instances to be able to prove that. Your case consists of many things, and you're going to have to go into the law to actually friggin' figure it out. So, once you do that, got your proof leave. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, I checked the border um, around the 15th of last month. It was completely closed. Checked it again today. They are allowing asylum victim, um, asylum people to cross the border, border, uh, border into Canada, except in New York State. They will not allow them to cross in New York State or if you're from New York. So, um, I will be leaving here, um, just waiting for my phone to come in, it'll be on the 12th, and um, then I gotta prepare, take a couple of days to prepare, so I will be out of here very soon.